And this is my last morning here, so I need every bit of luck. I took one picture. I'm becoming quite a fan of Eastern Europe and in fact I've barely been back from Serbia for like a week and I decided to get on a plane and come out to Bulgaria. Never been to Bulgaria before in my life. Um, I'm in a little village, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. It's absolutely beautiful. It really is like stepping back in time here. Anyway, as often is the case, I'm here for bird photography and uh, it's just about six o'clock in the morning. Sun's just coming up over the horizon behind me um, as a woodpecker. Green woodpecker or grey-headed woodpecker that was calling there, I'm not too sure which one. So the plan for this morning is to spend a couple of hours in one place, see if I can get pictures of Golden Oriole. But we've had to be a little bit creative to do this. So there's golden orioles like all around this property. It's just absolutely incredible. You can hear them calling all the time. Um, but this little spot they seem to have been a favouring. Uh, there's a couple of trees where they've been hanging out. Uh, one of which is a little plum tree. And they've been coming into here fairly regularly. So we've just got the van into position and I'm just literally going to concentrate um, on this one tree. So I've got set up, give it a few hours. I can hear them. I can hear the golden orioles all the time. Um, but just not got lucky this morning. Okay, the golden orioles are not the easiest birds to photograph. So there's a few more locations that I can try. Um, I think next I'm going to try the tower hide. And fingers crossed. One of the birds I've really wanted on this trip is the red-backed shrike. Both the male and the female are absolutely stunning birds, amazing colours and markings on them. Particularly the males which are a real favourite with the blue head, orange back and that black stripe running through the eye. What we did was put up a pop-up hide near to an area where the, these birds actually hang out. and We just sort of took a chance really. 
there's a few bushes that they seem to favour perching on the tops so what we did is put the pop-up hide out earlier in the day um, about 11 o'clock in the morning and left that hide there until the afternoon and they went down to the hide uh, about five o'clock in the evening so these birds tend to you know these birds tend to be fairly tolerant but you never quite know if it's going to work or not we got in about five o'clock um, we could see the red back shikes in the distance and i think it was 10 15 minutes and one of the one of the males came perched on the bush right in front of us got the shots that was absolutely fantastic very very happy to get the red back shrike It's just coming up to six o'clock in the morning and the bird song here is absolutely incredible. I've got house martins nesting like literally outside my window so every now and again I can hear them like bubbling and chirping away. Um, I'm listening to cuckoos, house sparrows and golden oriole which I can hear the male golden oriole calling. He's been calling since about half past four in the morning probably. Um, so I'm going to have a cup of tea because I need a cup of tea. So another early morning, um, take two, I'm going to have another go at the Golden Oriole. Uh, you see the van behind me, so i just got in a different position today. I'm just going to go for this tree. As I said, they're often landing in the tops of these bushes, calling and actually feeding on some of the fruits as well. So I've got the van in position, my mobile photography hide. I'm going to have the camouflage again at the back and um, have the big lens with the extender. And fingers crossed, fingers crossed for this morning. This is my last morning here, so I need every bit of luck trying to get that golden oriole. Right, I'm ready. The light is just beautiful. A little bit of mist in the air, which is just diffusing the light. It already looks good. With the mist, it looks even better. Um, this is a tree behind me. I'm gonna set up on this one, hoping the orioles are gonna come land in the tree. And then also, if I did another perch as well, just put another perch up here just to hedge our bets. Not really for the Orioles, but you might get, again, maybe a Shrike or something land on there. And I've also put a little bit of banana um, just nearby, very carefully hidden. I might encourage something. I've got to point upwards a bit. I can hear the Oriole. I can hear the This trip's been brilliant. I've had almost everything I've wanted apart from the Golden Oriole. forward onto a clear bunch 
I took one picture. One picture of a golden oriole. I haven't even looked at it on the back to see if it's sharp. I'm too scared to look at it. <laughs> oh man. And then there was a female, there was a male golden oriole. And there was a female behind it as well. that if you just try and stick it out you never know what's gonna happen that was incredible yeah. I'm literally still shaking from that golden oriole um, or maybe that's the mosquito juice that's in my body but that was my last photography session um, I can't believe I got that oriole that was my last photography session literally a few hours left before I've got to get a flight back to the UK this afternoon and uh, the odds were against me. I didn't think I was going to get it. And um, yeah, I think it was just meant to be. And I've photographed so much variety, so many birds in literally two days. It's been quite phenomenal, really. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. And um, if you want to see more nature photography videos and photography tutorials, then please click the subscribe button and the bell icon notifications. If you feel like sharing, please do share on social media. Um, that's a big help for the channel. And in today's world, it's nice to share. So I'll see you somewhere in nature sometime soon. All these new photography hides with toilets and uh, tea and coffee and all that. This is the future, transit van. This is the job. Mobile, keeps you cool, gets you a little higher, perfect. Get yourself a transit van. And if you're tired, you can sleep in the back of it as well. <laughs>